Uh, we have confirmed over 60 water rescues have happened overnight just in the last hour. We spoke with the Johnson uh, Fire Department, Ruben. Yeah, in fact, 30 people were rescued from their home, including families with infants and pets. Right now, those people are at the Johnson Fire Department uh, seeking shelter there right now. Yeah, another water rescue happening this morning where another 30 people were rescued from some apartment buildings on Weddington Drive and West End. Five News reporter Tiffany Lee's been there all morning long, and she joins us live now. Tiffany, are those people safe? Yeah, Laura, it's been a very scary morning for the people who lived at those West End apartments. So those people, they actually are safe. We spoke with the Fayetteville Fire Chief who says no injuries have been reported at this time. And you can kind of see behind us right now, a lot of people are actually taking shelter at the Casey's gas station just right down the road. We saw some EMS here earlier today and even some police officers that have been coming in, checking on them and helping in any way they can. Well, the people that we've talked to, they said it was a very scary situation this morning as they woke up to watch water in their house, neighbors knocking on their doors, trying to help them get out, and some were even rescued by boat. You can see in the video right now that it was a very scary morning, a lot of water, and people even kind of had to wade through those waters to come get to the gas station. Again, that is what we know for now, and we do know that everyone is safe. In fact, some officers came just a little bit ago to the gas station to say that it looks like the waters have gone down so people can go and check out their houses now, but the big concern for a lot of these people is if they have anything that's even dry or salvageable. So we'll keep you updated as we learn more throughout the day. But for now, I'm live in Fayetteville, covering news where you live. Tiffany Lee, 5 News. All right, thanks a lot, Tiffany. The biggest message that we just heard right there is that the waters are receding at some of those apartments. So officials telling people, again, Tiffany, as Tiffany just mentioned, that it's safe for them to go back to their homes and check things out. Yeah.